Good evening and welcome to H.O. Clemens Arena here on the campus of the University of Arkansas at Pine Bluff. I'm Tim Stubbs, glad to be with you once again as we are set here. The calendar has turned. We are now in February and first month is here and gone, but basketball is still rolling on here at UAPB. So we're excited to be with you here tonight as Grambling State comes to town. We'll have women's action for you first and then the men's action coming up for you shortly after this one. Of course, UAPB and their home whites and black and gold for Grambling State. We are ready for the opening tip here. The Lady Lions and the Lady Tigers of Grambling, and we are underway with that being said. I'm Tim Stubb, glad to be with you. Carl Wimper will be joining me for the second game. Already starting the game is Grambling State with the basketball, and they're 0 for 1. UAPB's got it. Coming back the other way, that was Dominique Patrick who missed the opening shot. UAPB's got it inside. You know, working around the perimeter here, right side, back to Lassane. She'll pull up for the three high arcing shot. Will not go, battle for it is lost out of bounds. Going to go with Grambling State. So, so far 0 for 1 for both teams from downtown and we have no score. Just 30 seconds in. Dominique Patrick, she'll bring the basketball up midcourt, picked up by Destiny Ham. Now they're working right side. Putting it on the floor is Joanna Miller. Miller shot in and out, no good, will not go, and the rebound's gonna come away to Carr for UAPB. They'll push it ahead, left side of the floor, holding her dribble, Carr's got it out high. Now top of the key, Molly Campbell. They're working around to Lassane, good pass inside, but better hands by Grambling State with the steal. They knock it away, left side. Watkins now in the lane. The little 12 foot jumper is good by Jasmine Godbolt. So Godbolt puts the Lady Tigers on the board, leading 2 0 here early on. Just a little over a minute and a half going by. There's a steal by Grambling. Lady Tigers will hold possession, leading 2 0 early on here. Inside, off the glass, will not go for Ricks. UAPB's got it. Ham's going to push it ahead for the Lady Lions. Lassane. She gets it to Campbell as UAPB being patient in their half-court set. There's an open jumper left side for three. It's good. Sharice Carr hits the three for the Lady Lions, and now they have their first lead and they're on the board, three to two, UAPB. 17.45 and counting here in the lane. Little one-handed floater will not go from about five feet out by Jessica Watkins. UAPB's got it coming the other way. Lassane off the glass, maybe got bumped a bit, no call, misses the shot. Here comes Joanna Miller. Miller kicks it out, wide open three for Watkins is short. And UAPB's got the rebound, Marion Thompson, as Destiny Ham will push it across midcourt. UAPB leading three to two. Campbell now to Carr, will work it back around. Ham passes up the shot in the lane, a little floater off the glass is no good. Rebound pulled down by Godbolt. So Grambling coming back the other way, three to two our score. Slow start to this one. UAPB by one, and now they're gonna be down one. Nice move in the lane, Victoria Ricks. 4-3 Grambling with a one point advantage early on here. Marion Thompson puts it on the floor, off the bounce, needs some help. Top of the key, Ham, now left side car. She's wide open for a three again. In and out this time, will not go, and Miller's got the rebound for Grambling. She'll push it ahead. So with Grambling leading by one, nearly four minutes into the first half here. Left side, wide open jumper, no good, couldn't get the roll. That was Dominique Patrick. She's 0 for 2 from the field. UAPD's got it coming the other way. Carr in the lane, off the glass, will not go. Had a good look at it. Got to score that one, and Coach Nate Kilbert Danny Evans over there, they know it too. That was the one you got to score. 
So Grambling with the basketball. Forcing a bad pass inside, picked off by Thompson. UAPB coming the other way. Here's Ham in transition, almost traveled with it. Carr, nice pass. Molly Thompson, Campbell rather, Molly Campbell with the basket for UAPB. So nice little combination. A little two-man game there, and Campbell gets the basket. So UAPB back on top, 5-4, to 15-20 to go. We'll have a media timeout coming up on the next dead ball. We've had no stoppage in play as we're flying by early. Jumper's good. Joanna Miller, top of the key. It was a two. And she knocks it in. She's an outstanding player for Grambling State. So 6-5, we go back and forth. UAPB back on top. 15-foot jumper in the corner is good by Marion Thompson. 7-6, already several lead changes back and forth. Early on in this one, UAPB leads by one. Godbolt kicks it out. Three-point shot is good by Dominique Patrick. So Patrick puts Grambling State back on top by two, as we seesaw back and forth early on in this one. Now a steal by Joanna Miller. Two on one, pull-up jumper. Miller no good from 17 out left side. Ham's got the rebound for Pine Bluff. He'll push it ahead here. Carr, left side, passes up the jumper, bad pass, turns it over, and that'll be a stoppage in play. And we'll step aside here with 14-17 to go, first half, 9-7. Grambling with the early two-point lead, and we'll be right back right after this. Hey, going out like that? Yeah, why? Well, um, what would the neighbors think? <laughs> Look what I have. Mr. Bird, remember? Bark, bark, bark. We're just playing. We're just playing. I'm trying to get you out of here. Even still. You don't have to be perfect to be a perfect parent. There are thousands of teens in foster care who don't need perfection. They need you. 9-7 our score early on in this one. And for some reason the game clock is rolling as both teams are yet to get out on the court, so we're going to have to fix that. Not quite sure what that's all about, but I don't even think they noticed it. But about eight seconds ran off the clock there, but we are going to go nevertheless. Nine to seven, Grambling with a two-point lead and the basketball. God Bolt, shot partially blocked and out of bounds and off of Grambling, so UAPB will get it back. Down two. Inside, Campbell kicks it out, Carr. Top of the key, right at the free throw line is good. Molly Campbell knocks it in. She's got four points early on and we're tied at nine. 13-20 to play here in the first. And partially blocked, taken away. Here's Ham coming up for Pine Bluff. Right side. Lassane now back to Ham. No oh, have a little two-man game. Wide open. Lassane's got to take that one and misses the three. But wide open look. She's got to knock it down. Here comes Grambling dodging a bullet there. Joanna Miller gets a screen. Now she'll attack in the lane. Nice little wraparound pass off the glass, and the basket is good. Jordan Mitchell Harmel with the basket, but that was all Joanna Miller creating it off the bounce. Campbell kicks it out to Carr. Carr on the floor, off the glass, no good. Thompson the rebound, then stripped out of bounds off of Miller, and it's going to remain UAPB basketball with 12.28 to go here in the first. And an 11-9 ball game, just a two-point lead for Grambling State. Carr with the inbound. They'll set it up. Top of the key here. Destiny Ham now back to Lassane. They work it around the perimeter. Passing up the shot was Ham now in the corner. Just four on the shot clock and a bad pass stolen away. Now 
Ball is free. They're going to have a jump ball situation, alternating possession. It's going to go back to UAPB here. With 12-12 to go here in the first half, an 11-9 slow start score. Waiting on the inbound here. I don't know what the holdup was, but it's UAPB basketball, so they're set to inbound it. New shot clock. End of the ball game is Cassidy Wright for the Lady Lions. Cross court pass. Pull up jumper off the glass is no good by Lassane and pulled down by Grambling. They'll come the other way with it, leading by two. Anderson. Out top of the key. Mitchell Hormel will kick it out. A little fadeaway jumper there by Denisha Chambers goes. Four point lead, biggest lead of the game here for Grambling early on. Leading 13 to 9 with 11.20 to go. Three right side by Cassidy Wright's too strong. Carr hauls down the rebound. Cross court pass. And right off the glass, they're gonna call an offensive foul. So 11.07 to go. And yeah, should have been another media timeout there. I believe they missed the media timeout. Thirteen to nine, four point lead, and make it seven or sixteen to nine rather. A three point shot by Joanna Miller is good, and she's off to a fast start. But a timeout called by Nate Kilbert. At ten fifty seven to go before halftime, it's sixteen to nine. Now a seven point lead here. A five nothing run by Grambling to open up a seven point advantage. We'll keep it right here. But they missed the media timeout a moment ago, I believe. Your assistance is still needed in helping us complete this state-of-the-art facility. For information on how you can transform this field of dreams into a field of reality, contact the UAPB Department of Athletics at 870-575-7950 or the Office of Development at 870-575-8702. Now it's time for This Week in Bad Stats. Bad stats? Horrible stats. Here goes. 260. That's how many runs were walked in with the bases loaded last season. Wow, very good. Here's a tough one, though. Three and four. No idea. That's the number of kids who witnessed bullying. Three out of four. Not a good stat. No, it's not, but that can change. Kids want to help, but they don't know how. You can visit StopBullying.gov and give them the tools they need to help prevent bullying. There are plenty of safe ways kids can help at StopBullying.gov. Cross court pass, not a very good one, couldn't handle it. Lassane off her hands, taken away by Grambling. So they have a seven point lead and the basketball here. Anderson now top of the key, they'll work it to Mitchell Harmel. Chambers has it now, 10 on the shot clock. Chambers. It's going to be fouled. She's going to shoot two. These will be the game's first free throws as well, 10-24. But right now, the Lady Tigers are grambling. Also number 20, Cassidy Wright, on a second s personal, second team foul. A little five-nothing spurt. Shooting two for the Lady Tigers is number three. That's one of the, for the Lady Tigers, number 11, Jaylen unorthodox shots you're going to find in college basketball. And by yes, Chambers, kind of cocks it to the side of her shoulder and catapults it up and it went in. It's all that matters. And again, she'll shoot another one and miss this one, but we have a lane violation on Grambling, so UAP will get it back. They trail 17 to nine to Grambling State with 10.24 to go here in the first.
Driving baseline, Carr needs some help. Now top of the key. Ham back to Carr, passes up the three. And Lassane's got it right side. Inside, Carlisha Walker. Couldn't handle it off her foot, turns it over. In transition back on the other way, off the glass, no good. But the put back is there by Chambers and it's now a 10 point lead. 19 to nine, an 8-0 run here by Grambling. 9.44 to play. Here's Jasmine Victorian, her jumper no good, left side, rebound pulled down by Grambling State. That's Jalen Botteford. So 10 point lead here for Grambling. They have the basketball and in control. Here's Joanna Miller, Miller, nice hesitation. Pass right side, handled by Botteford and now in the lane and throwing it away. Out of bounds, that's Tyler Anderson. So Anderson with the turnover, gives it back to UAPB with 9.16 to go. Here in the first, UAPB trailing 19 to nine. Walker got away with the travel there. Turn, spins in the lane, goes up off the glass and gets it to go. Takes advantage of it. Carlisha Walker snapping an 8-0 run by Grambling. Makes it 19-11. to And a near steal out of bounds off of Denisha Chambers. And that turnover is going to give it back to UAPB with 8.48 to go before halftime as the Lady Lions try to get back into it here. Only trailing by eight, but just the 11 point score is what you worry about. That eight feels more than that because they've been stagnant offensively. Right side, Lusane. Victoria, nice take in the lane. And kicks it out, Wormley, she'll spot up, she'll take the jumper, and she gets the friendly roll off the glass, and good. It's hit the front of the iron, the backboard, and then back in the cylinder. So it's a little four nothing spurt here for UAPB to pull within six, 19 to 13 now. Chambers trying to get into the corner and nearly stolen, lost out by Ham. 8.14 to go. 19 to 13 our score. UAPD down by six. And for the Lady Tigers, number double zero, Victoria Riggs. Very quiet atmosphere here in the arena during the first game right now. Pass deflected and stolen away. Good hands by Carlisha Walker. Cross court pass, slinging it ahead was Ham and now they'll set it up here. Wormley, pump fake to Walker. Little pass right back out, and Wormley sticks in the 15-foot jumper left side. She's two for two. So four points off the bench for Wormley. Six-nothing run here by UAPB to pull to within four. 7.35 to go. Step back jumper, air ball for three by Joanna Miller, missing badly there. And we're gonna have a whistle and a foul on the air ball rebound. That's gonna go against UAPB. Fast moving first half here. There's only a couple of fouls have been called on either team and we've only shot two free throws for the whole game. Nineteen to fifteen, four-point lead for Grambling with the basketball here. Seven twenty-five to go, first half. In the lane, nice pass by Anderson, and the shot up will not go by Godbolt. Kept alive and missing it again was Ricks. So three chances at it there for Grambling, and they come away with nothing. Here's Ham left side. Lassane spots up for three, off the glass, no good. Battle for the rebound. Carlisha Walker's got it, and she's going to be fouled. And she's going to shoot two free throws. These will be the Lady Lions' first shots, unless they're going to stay on the floor. And they do. They say foul on the floor, so they'll have to inbound it. And again, they missed the media timeout. There's two media timeouts that have passed, and for some reason they're not taking a timeout. 
They've missed two media timeouts back to back. In the lane off the glass, will not go. Jasmine Victorian and got a foul here. And now they say media timeout. We'll step aside here. We need a break. 6.55 to go. First half, 19 to 15. Four point lead for Grambling. We're right back with more Lady Lion basketball in a moment. For those dealing with the daily struggles of caring for a loved one, we hear you. That's why AARP created a community with experts and other caregivers to help us better care for ourselves and the ones we love. 6.55 to go here before halftime. 19 to 15 hour score, four point lead for Grambling State. UAPB battling back, six nothing run now. Still Walker comes alive. Walker and Wormley have really given Lady Lions a lift. Walker already with a couple of steals. So Lady Lions got it back down four with the ball here. Looking for the cut there. Now step back, jumper no good from 15 by Walker. One and done as Grambling has the basketball coming the other way. In the lane, Godbolt holds her pivot foot. Now whistle on a foul as Joanna Miller hits the floor and she's in some pain right now. She's holding, looks like that left shoulder. Hmm, that's not good for Grambling is. number 23, Carlisa Walker. She's probably their They're best player the and one of the best in the league. So she has hit that shoulder pretty hard and she could be down for a minute here. We'll take another timeout with an injury uh, timeout here. 19 to 15, four point lead for Grambling. We'll be right back after this injury timeout. Are you getting this, honey? Oh, prime time. We are rolling. <laughs> All right, Mama's gonna bring it home. Mama's okay. gonna bring it home. Okay. 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 Come on, watch this guy. Oh, oh backwards. Oh, don't. Oh. It went into Bob and Carol's yard. Oh, no? Okay. Yeah. Here it goes. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Challenge your kids to be active and eat healthy. All right, let's see what you can do. Let's go. They might surprise you. Search We Can for more ideas on how you and your kids can get healthy together. We are back with from the injury timeout. 6:15 to go. Grambling State with a basketball here. Nearly turning over, but Joanna Miller trying to work out that shoulder, and she's still in some pain over there on the sideline. They get it inside to Ricks. Ricks double teamed, and then she gets it stripped out of bounds by Walker. It's going to stay with Grambling State with 6.05 to go here in the first half. They lead UAPB by four. There's Miller there for our TV viewers. Still hurting from that hard hit that she took. Anderson, some contact, almost taken away, but Grambling keeps it alive here. Chambers, inside double team, shot up with the right hand, no good by Ricks and UAPB's got it coming the other way. Nice pass inside, shot up by Campbell, Aaron Campbell and turns it over. So UAPB will give it back to Grambling and actually a called jump ball there. Good hands by Jessica Watkins that got her hand on top of the basketball there when Campbell went up for the shot and they called a jump ball instead. So gives it back to gives it back to Grambling. Watkins inside, Godbolt, and she gets the shot to go down. So stops a 6-0 run by UAPB. 21-15, six-point lead here for Grambling. Five minutes to go here in the first. Lassane pull up 15-footer, air ball, rebound UAPB. That was Walker. She kicks it out. Wormley again with the jumper. 
And Wormley comes alive for UAPB off the bench, giving Nate Kilbert some quality minutes. Michaela Wormley, the 6'1 forward from Grapevine, Texas, a junior. She's got six first half points. Here's a wide open jumper, will not go for Watkins. Rebound pulled down by Chambers, and then she throws it away, stolen by Ham. So Lady Lions down four with the ball here. 21-17 our score, 4.20 to play. Here in the first. Driving in the lane, Lassane off the glass. They wave it off, call the foul on the floor. Cherise Carr back in the ball game as Christina Lassane will take a seat. Wormley inbounding it. She's got six first half points. Pass deflected, knocked out of bounds. Going to stay with UAPB with 29 on the shot clock. Shot clock just one second going off there on the inbound. So we'll try it again here with Carr. Carr to Ham, and then Ham is pushed by Chambers. And Denisha Chambers going to get the foul, and that's not many. That We only had a total of eight fouls called here in the first half, and that's why we've moved by so quickly. It's been a, had a very nice flow to it with there not being many fouls called, and hopefully we'll stay with that format. 21-17, <laughs> nice little cut by Wormley. She misses the layup, but she's fouled, and Wormley is right now one of the go-to players for UAPB. Six points already, now to the foul line, looking for more. She's working on a career high. Wormley's first shot is good. She's got a nice soft touch, good shot. Already with seven first half points for Wormley to lead the way, she's the leading scorer in the game. And she's got them both, nothing but net, so eight points for Wormley. And it's a two point game. Quickly back on the other end, a whistle and a foul called, and Jasmine Godbolt's gonna go to the line for two shots. Or check that, that was Chambers instead. Gonna have a media timeout. We'll step aside here with 3.59 to go before halftime. 21-19, two point lead for Grambling State right back after this timeout. Wow, these are really good. You act surprised. Practice makes perfect. You don't have to be perfect to be a perfect parent. There are thousands of teens in foster care who don't need perfection. They need you. 3.59 to play here before, before halftime. 21-19, our score two-point lead for Grambling State. And it'll be Chambers at the foul line when we resume play here. Very fast moving first half of action. Shooting two for the Lady Tigers. Will be number three, Denisha Chambers. Denisha Chambers to the line. Had a, fr a freshman out of Plain Dilling, Louisiana. First shot is good, gets the friendly roll. Makes it 22 19 for Grambling, three point lead. We had a seesaw affair early on, both teams going back and forth, and then. That eight nothing run by Grambling, they took a 10 point lead, UAPB, then cut it down to two, and it's back up to four now as the pass coming right at us here. You go, Ralph. Stops the clock at 3.53 before halftime. But Grambling with a four point lead in the ball as they have been in control, but UAPB Getting back into it, ball loose on the floor, and that's gonna be a foul, I believe, on Grambling, and they're gonna get Dominique Patrick. 
reaching over the top there on that loose basketball. So the Lady Lions will get it back down by four with 3.43 to play before halftime. In the lane, Carr, a little floater, will not go. Battle for the rebound, and they're going to say jump ball. A late whistle there, and they're going to give it to Grambling, but I believe they got the last one as well. Yeah, they're now talking. They didn't switch it from the last time as it should have been UAPB ball, and then, yeah, now they fixed it, and now Grambling will get the next one. So 3.28 to play before halftime. The Lady Lions will get it back here. Down by four. Here's Ham. Pump fake down low. Thompson. Kick out. Here's a little floater, and it will not go, but the offensive rebound stick back no good by... Campbell kept alive, and Campbell gets it to go off the glass. Aaron Campbell with the basket. And pulls the Lady Lions within two, and now a turnover. As hot pass there, Watkins couldn't handle it. Lady Lions get it back, a chance to tie or take the lead here. 2.56 to go before halftime. Carr will inbound it, needing some help. That's going to be a blocking foul on Grambling. And they're going to get Tyler Anderson with 2.50 to go. Neither team in the bonus here. We played over 17 minutes in the first half and still not in the bonus. Six team fouls, but it's been great. It's been a much smoother flow, fast-moving pace. And now they're going to have... Bonus time coming up, even though that was a player control foul. So an offensive foul push off they call on, on Lassane. That's her first 17 foul on UAPB. Twenty-three twenty-one. Two-point lead for Grambling. They have the basketball here. 15 on the shot clock. Two under two and a half to go. In the lane, that's going to be a travel and give it back to UAPB. So again, the Lady Lions have a chance here to tie or take the lead. Thompson, they break the press. Campbell. In the lane, Marion Thompson, little spin, goes over the left hand, no good, draws the foul. And Marion Thompson, the line, and a chance to possibly tie the game for UAPB. Seven team fouls now on both teams. Stops the clock at 2.12 before halftime. Her shot is good for Thompson. Cuts it to a one-point game. 23-22 with 2.12 to go. One more here for Thompson. And in and out, no good. Campbell there for the rebound. She looked like she was fouled on the putback. No call and then lost out of bounds. Campbell, Aaron Campbell's kept it alive and it looked like she was hit on the arm on the way to the basket and couldn't get the call. Left side, wide open three is good. Nothing but net there for Dominique Patrick. So Patrick hits the three and makes it 26-22 now for Grambling. Lead back up to four. 157 to go before halftime. Wormley with a tough pass stolen away. Good hands by Ricks. Ricks, a tough jumper in the lane, goes from 15. Got the friendly roll. But forced it a bit, but gets the 
the reward. All of a sudden, 5-0 run here, and the lead's back up to 6, 28-22. Near turnover there, probably missed a walk. Wormley misses her first shot from the right side of the floor. And the ball back to Grambling with a six-point lead. Godbolt out to Chambers for three. No good. Offensive rebound, Ricks gets it stripped and stolen away. Nice hands there by Sharice Carr. One minute left here in the first. Jumper will not go. And again, Grambling with the ball up by six, 44 seconds and counting here in the first. Top of the key, putting it on the floor here. Anderson off the bounce, pull up left side from 15, no good. And the Lady Lions can hold for the final shot here. Down six with the ball. 28-22, Grambling with the lead here. As the clock is down to just 15 seconds left here in the first. Hussain now top of the key to Carr, off a screen. Carr driving and gonna have an offensive foul on Carr as she ran over Dominique Patrick. So now Grambling will have a chance here for the final shot with 8.7 seconds remaining before halftime and a six point lead for Grambling. It's gonna be Chambers going one on one here. Now she'll give it to Anderson, clock down to two, gonna to have to shoot in the corner and Patrick cannot get it to go at the buzzer. So we are at the half, 28-22, six point lead for Grambling State over the Lady Lions and we head to Halftime, we'll have the second half coming up for you shortly. Seven thousand high school students drop out every school day. Let's catch them before it's too late. To start helping students in your community, visit boostup.org. Just about set for the second half here, Tim Stubbs. Back inside of H.O. Clemens Arena. 28-22 our score at halftime, but the Lady Lions gonna try to battle back and get back into it here. Down six, Grambling State will have the basketball and Joanna Miller with that shoulder, left shoulder wrapped up is gonna start the second half. So we'll see if she's gonna be okay. As she took a hard hit earlier. Jumper top of the key will not go right off the bat. That was Patrick, Dominic Patrick missing the shot. UAPB's got it. Ham's going to be fouled by Joanna Miller. So Lady Lions will have the basketball here down by six. Just 13 seconds into the second half. Carr. Top of the key and a foul by Dominic Patrick already. Two quick fouls. First half, we didn't have very many fouls at all. Barely even gotten to the bonus. Carr with the inbound here to Christina Lassane. Looking down low, Thompson. Right side to Carr, Carr. Thompson, jumper, good. Molly Campbell. Campbell knocks in the jumper and four point game, 28-24. One minute into the second half here. And Molly Campbell. 
Six points in the ball game and a steal. Good hands there and taken away. Destiny Ham quickly up. Lassane shot too strong. A foul the offensive rebound by Marion Thompson. And she's fouled on the way to the basket and she's going to go to the line for two shots here. Of the Lady Tigers, Jessica Watkins. That will be her first personal third team foul. At the line for the Lady Lions, number 24, Marion Thompson. First shot is good for Thompson. Puts the lead down to just three here, 28-25. Second free throw is good, two point game. So Lady Lions getting back into it here, 28-26. And almost a steal here, out of bounds. Gonna stay with the Tigers. Joanna Miller will inbound it, 27 on the shot clock. Just a, about a minute and a half going by here in the second half. The Lady Lions down by two, grambling with the basketball. Pump fake inside, going up for the shot. And <clears throat> whistle and a foul called. That's God Bolt. Gonna be on Molly Campbell, but God Bolt to the line here for two shots. Already a lot more stoppage in play and fouls being called here in the second half compared to the first half. Missing the free throw, however. So she was going for an and one. Missed the free throw. Did God bolt. Four point lead for Grambling, UAPB with the ball. Nice pass from Campbell down low, but Lassane couldn't convert. Missing an easy one. Turning, spinning, Ricks runs right into Campbell, but still kisses it off the glass and scores it. Lead back up to six now for Grambling, 32-26 with 17.40 to play. Here's Campbell. Tough pass handled by Thompson. She'll take the 15-footer right side, partially blocked by Ricks and taken out of the air by Grambling. They'll push it ahead, leading by six. Joanna Miller's got it, right side, pass deflected and almost stolen away. Kept alive here by Patrick in the lane, then knocked away and stolen by Ham. Ham on a run out. Off the glass and good. Transition basket by Destiny Ham. Created the steal and then got the outlet pass and scored on the break. Makes it 32-28. Three minutes going by here in the second half. Pull up jumper, will not go. Offensive rebound and scored and won. That is Tyler Anderson. 16.38 to go. Second half and Anderson gets the, the basket and a chance for a three point play here. 34.28 now. And she knocks it in, three-point play. So lead up to seven. The largest lead's been 10. Lady Lions have cut it down to two a couple of times. But they trail now by seven. Good ball movement. Carr, nice pass, Thompson kisses it off the glass. Nicely done, breaking the press. Carr to Thompson, 35-30, five-point lead. Grambling with the ball up five. Pump fake, pull up, 12 footer off the glass is good by Godbolt. 37 30, seven point lead now. Four minutes in. Ham will take her time here at the top of the key. Right side to Lassane. 
Hussein on the floor. Little floater off the glass, no good. Kept alive, Thompson scores it inside. Second chance bucket there for Marion Thompson. Thompson now with nine points to lead the way for UAPB. 37-32, Lady Lions within five. Trying to drive and a little dump down pass by Anderson, kept alive in the corner by Ricks. 10 on the shot clock here. Top of the key, down to five on the shot clock. Gonna have to shoot it. Cranks it up, Chambers no good. UAPB's Marion Thompson with the rebound. Five minutes here into the second half. Ham, nice take and score just outside of the lane, left side there. 37-34. Destiny Ham now with four points in the game. Pulls the Lady Lions to within three with 14.45 to go. Ricks turn around, eight footer in the lane, no good. UAPB's got it, one and done there for Grambling. Lady Lions down three. Trying to cut it to one, shot up no good by Lassane. Her shot's been off tonight. Grambling with the basketball, gonna have a whistle and a timeout with 14.25 to go. Attention all UAPB students. We'll keep it right here for a moment Stay as the next dead ball will have a media timeout, but for now it will, we'll keep it right here. Coming soon on a half court shot. You want to go by and see Mr. Butler at the Student Union for more information. That's $250 on a scholarship to make a half court shot. Coming soon. Check with Mr. Butler in the Student Union room 102. So 1425 to play. Quick moving ball game here. We'll have men's action coming up for you shortly. But pretty good game here, 37-34. UAPB within three. They've trailed the majority of the game. Trailed by as many as 10. But have scratched and clawed their way back into it to stay within striking distance here. Some of the fans getting into it here at H.O. Clemens Arena. Hey, I know that guy. Rare, rare camera time these days. <laughs> 14.25 to go. 37-34. Three-point lead for Grambling. They have the ball. 14.20 and counting. Lady Lions back into it here. See if they can get a stop here. Step back jumper is good and Grambling just kind of keeps that separation between them and making it hard for UAPB to come all the way back. 39-34, now a tough pass on cutting Molly Campbell and Campbell is fouled. Gonna get Ricks, I believe. Her first and fourth team foul on Grambling. For three, left side off the mark, no good by Ham. Offensive rebound kept alive and off the glass and good for Sharice Carr. Tipped around and Carr, look what I found. It gets the easy two. 39-36 Grambling up by three with the ball. Tough pass, tipped, stolen. Carr's got it here to Ham. This she'll push it ahead. Lady Lions can pull a little bit closer. Pass deflected, knocked out of bounds. Still, they've yet to have a media timeout, I believe. They're finally going to call it. So we'll step aside here, 13-26 to play, second half. Media timeout, 39-36, three-point lead for Grambling right back in a moment. Hey, my name's Katie and I'm in the ninth grade. I'm an A average student and I'm an athlete working towards a scholarship. 
and everybody tells me how much potential I have. But I just wish someone would tell me where my next meal is coming from. Katie, how'd I do? Do you have to be so serious? Well, I mean, I did like a crazy dance in a movie if you want me to like, you know, do a little, no. Play a role in ending hunger. Visit feedingamerica.org slash hunger and find your local food bank. 39-36 ball game, three point lead for Grambling State over UAPB. Lady Lions scratching and clawing their way right back in this ball game, but still not able to come all the way back. They do trail by three. Still plenty of game left, and the Lady Lions doing a nice job of battling and staying with it. They're gonna have to knock down some more shots if they wanna try to come back and win this ball game. Cherise Carr is gonna inbound the basketball for the Lady Lions as we have a stoppage in play. Coach Nate Kilbert wanted to talk about it with the officials. A point of emphasis this year. It's definitely uh, been the hand check, and that's one thing that he's been working on the officials about, their inconsistency with that call. Here's the inbound, knocked away. Nothing easy, nothing easy at all. Top of the key for three is good. Cassidy Wright knocks it in and we're all tied at 39. 13, 15 to play. Kick out, Ricks in the lane, little floater is good. And back on top quickly, Grambling with the lead. We're working around the perimeter, right side. Top of the key, Carr. Off the glass and good. Sharice Carr with the basket. Tied at 41. Out of bounds. Foul against the Lady Tigers, number 34, Jasmine Gambo. They'll be her first personal 15 foul. In the lane, shot up is good. Victoria! by Victorian. Step back, jumper. No good, and I wonder if that injury has affected the play of Joanna Miller. But the Lady Lions with their first lead in a long, long time. <clears throat> Looking for the backdoor cut. Carr. Pump fake. Victorian gets it to go off the glass. And the Lady Lions now up 45 41 with 11 and a half to go in the game. Ball knocked away. Kept alive. Shot up by Anderson is good in the lane. Pulls the Lady Tigers to within two now. There's a wide open three. It's short by Wright. Taken away by Grambling. They want to push it ahead in transition. Going all the way, stripped out of bounds and off the leg of Denisha Chambers. And it's going to go back to UAPB. Should have a media timeout right here. And we do. 11.02 to go, we'll step aside. 45-43, the Lady Lions now back on top by two. More Lady Lion basketball right after this timeout. 
NFC, AFC, offensive linemen, defensive tackles, quarterbacks, and cornerbacks are all living united to ensure the academic success of millions of kids in our communities all the way to graduation day. But that won't happen without you. So take the pledge at unitedway.org. Make a difference in the life of a child. Suit up like your favorite NFL players and become a volunteer reader, tutor, or mentor with United Way. Forty-five, forty-three. Our score with ten fifty-nine to go. A good ball game here as the Lady Lions have done a nice job of battling back, taking the lead. We'll see if they can sustain it. Trailed by as many as ten, and then just kind of kept plugging away. And Cassidy Wright here at the line as we resume play. First shot is good. One and one here. That's the seventh team foul on Grambling UAPB with just two fouls so far. Shot is good. And it's good. So Cassie Wright coming alive with five second half points here. Lady Lions back up their largest lead here at four. Got away with a walk there. That was Denisha Chambers, and then she's going to be fouled, and she's going to shoot two shots herself. Second shot, Chambers missed the second one, made the first one. 47-44, three-point lead for UAPB with the basketball. Kick out, right, top of the key. Working around the perimeter, wide open look. And three will not go for Carr. Rebound pulled down by Grambling State. Looking down low, nothing there. Tough pass deflected and now stolen by Lassane, he'll push it ahead. Carlisha Walker's got it in transition. She is fouled by Chambers. 10.06 to play. And a one and one. So Lady Lions have a chance here in the second half to do some damage from the foul line. Entry for the Lady Tigers, number 24, Jessica Watkins. And shooting the one and one for the Lady Lions, number 23, Carlisha Walker. And no good. Boy, you got to hit those, those one and one, especially that first one. Miss it, you don't get a chance at another one. Top of the key, pull up three, will not go. Offensive rebound, stick back is there for Godbolt. Jasmine Godbolt. Patrick missed the three, Godbolt cleans it up and pulls Grambling State to within one, 47-46. And they're gonna have a turnover here. Gonna say Carr stepped on the sideline. She was double teamed. So 9.40 to play. Grambling State with the ball, but they trail now by one. Kick ball there by Wright. So Grambling State will inbound it. Here's the inbound to Godbolt. Good hands. Carlisha Walker on the floor with it. Going to have a tie up situation. And alternating possession is going to give it back to Pine Bluff. Carlisha Walker. With the dirty work, getting on the floor there and tying it up. Results in a UAPB basketball. So nine and a half to go in the game. The Lady Lions up by one. 47-46 with the ball. Needing some help, Walker splits the double team. Dumps it down in the lane and gets it right back on the deflection. They'll set it up top of the key, 15 on the shot clock. Lassane right side, down to 10. 
Victorian with the take and a blocking foul. It's going to be on Grambling State's Jordan Mitchell Harmel. Down to seven on the shot clock, and then the foul occurred. Foul foul on number 12, Jordan Mitchell Harmel. There will be a second personal 19 foul. At the line for the Lady Lions, number 35, Jasmine Victorian. Jasmine Victorian to the line here for two and shots, the makes the first. Good. Back up to a two point lead. In and out, no good on the next. 48 46, two point lead. Rambling with the basketball, down two now. Armel now left side to Godbolt. In the lane, the kick back, Godbolt, jumper, no good, rebound. It's on the floor and a foul is going to be called. I believe on Grambling State they're going to get Anderson that time with the foul and that's going to be a one and one coming up here for UAPB with 8.45 remaining. Foul is against the... Lady Tigers, number, number 30, Tyler Anderson, a second personal 10 team foul. Shooting the double bonus for the Lady Lions, number 23, Carlisha Walker. So a Walker to the line here. A one and one, or two shots now with a double bonus already. Missing the first. Walker missed her last two free throws. She'll have one more coming up here. High arcing free throw is good. That is good. Entering for Grambling State, leading number 23, Joanna Miller. And in for the Lady Lions, number three, Sharice Carr. Forty-nine, forty-six, three-point lead for you, APB Grambling with the ball. With eight and a half to play. She's trying to get it inside, good hands there. Walker, boy, she is good instincts, very good defensive player. Very active with her hands and feet, making things happen. Spark plug. Setting it up out high is Patrick. Tigers down by three. Patrick will crank up the three, misses it. Rebound pulled down by Victorian. So Arkansas Pine Bluff with the ball, leading by three, a chance to add on here. Big possession in the game. Eight minutes to go. Left side, Lassane. Now to Walker, Walker, nice pass. Inside, outside, and Wright gets her pass stolen away. Here come the Tigers, down three with the ball in transition. Nice pass off the glass, and Mitchell Harmel with the easy two. 49-48, one-point game. Lady Lions up one with the ball, seven and a half to play. Right, she'll step back, she'll take the three and hits again. Three-point shot by Cassidy Wright is good. The sophomore from Flint, Michigan, giving the Lady Lions a four-point lead, 52-48 with 7-10 to go in the game. Dribble drive in the lane, nowhere to go with it is Joanna Miller. She turns it over, stolen. Victorian's pass ahead is not a good one and throws it away. 6.59 to go. We've got a media timeout. We'll step aside here. 52-48, the Lady Lions with life media leading Grambling State Please by four. Back in a, more, in a minute. I'm big. I'm big. I'm big. I've done big things. Some even say I'm bigger than life. But you know what? There's nothing bigger than life. Not when someone you love is fighting to live. You want to do something big? You want to do something big? Sign up to donate marrow and save a life. Take the first step at bethematch.org. See how big you can be. You could be the one. 
to save a life. 6.59 to play. 52-48. Four point lead here. For the Lady Lions, Grambling State will have the basketball. And they trail by four now after that Cassidy Wright three before that last media timeout. Matching the largest lead of the game for UAPB. Grambling led by as many as 10 in the first half. Jumped out to a 19 to nine lead. Here's Anderson, shot up off the glass, no good. Kept alive and the stick back is there for Anderson. So cuts it to a two point game. 52-50, right, pull up 15 footer, right side is good, Cassidy Wright hits it. Right. 54-50, just over six to play. In the lane, Anderson, tough shot, no good, left it short, and Victorian with a tough rebound. Right side, Carr. They'll set it up to Lassane. Work it around the perimeter, left side. Down low, Victorian. Shot was partially blocked by Godbolt as the shot clock was winding down. Shot clock violation is going to give it back to Grambling State trailing UAPB 54-50 with 5.37 to go. Nice take on the drive and then throwing it over the backboard was Denisha Chambers. The blow by and then the blow up. 54-50, UAPB by four with just over five to play. That's a big possession to me right here. Got a chance to extend it to six, maybe seven. With five to go. We'll see if the Lady Lions can do it. Left side, Carl. Off the bounce, needs some help. Lassane's got it out high, picked up by Ricks. Ricks hits a screen and hits the deck hard. And Carr with the take off the glass, can't get it to go. Offensive rebound, stick back is there, and a foul. Sharice Carr, a chance for a three-point play, and that is a big, big play in this game. Lady Lions keeping it alive, and Carr making them pay for it. 56-50 now, a six-point lead for UAPB and a free throw. The basket is good, shooting one, Sharice Carr. Carr knocks it in. She's got 10 points in the game. 57-50. Down low to Ricks on the block, scores it. Nope, in and out. Halfway in and would not go down. So UAPB up seven with the ball with four and a half to play. See if they can add on with more here. And down low, Victorian to Walker, back to Victorian, and we're gonna have a blocking foul, and not liking the call was Jordan Mitchell Harmel. She walks all the way over. That's her fourth foul. Walks all the way to, the, to her sideline. Two shots here for Jasmine Victorian. Junior from Houston, Texas. First shot, no good. One more coming up for Jasmine. Four sixteen to play. Victorian second shot is good. Lady Lions up by eight, their largest lead of the game, 58-50.
three in the corner is good. Big shot there for Dominic Patrick. Makes it 58-53, 3.50 to play. We'll have immediate time out of the next dead ball. Lassane now in the lane looking for a dump down pass there. Kick out, Cassidy right for three, no good. Offensive rebound, Carlisha Walker had it stripped on the way to the basket. Ball still loose on the floor. Jump ball, tie up, alternating possession to Grambling State. With 3.34 to go, and should be a media timeout right here. And we'll have it. 3.34 to play, we'll step aside. Media timeout, 58-53, UAPB leading the Lady Tigers of Grambling by five. Body language can tell you all sorts of things. Like someone is having a stroke. Know the sudden signs. Learn fast. Face drooping, arm weakness, speech difficulty. Time to call 911 and get them to a hospital immediately. Learn the body language and spot a stroke fast. 334 to go. 58-53, five-point lead for UAPB. Anybody's ball game with the Lady Lions have taken control here. Led by as many as eight before that three-point shot a moment ago by Dominique Patrick of Grambling. Just a reminder, ladies and gentlemen, support the Stephen Athletes Advisory Committee as they hold their annual coin drive competition. And also, it's not too late to purchase your 50 for 50 raffle ticket. The drawing will be held at halftime of the men's game. Here's the inbound. They're going to roll all the way to midcourt before picking it up. No pressure there, so Chambers takes advantage of that. They save a little time advancing the basketball. Nice take here in the lane. A little hesitation, and Ricks is going to be fouled on the triple drive. And that foul is going to be on Jasmine Victorian. That's the third on Jasmine. Inbound pass, make it four. She's going to pick up two quick ones here. And that's the fifth team foul on UAPB. Still with the inbound here for Grambling. Right back, Godbolt, turn, spins, off the glass, good. Little hook shot there with the right hand, and that eight-point lead's been cut down to three here. And a foul as UAPB is trying to advance the ball past midcourt. Full court pressure by the Lady Tigers. Victoria Ricks, they'll be the second person. It's going to be on Ricks. Two shots coming up here for Chassidy Wright. Cassidy Wright. First shot is good. Free throws are big down the stretch. Cassidy, a sophomore from Flint, Michigan. She's come alive here. She has a team high 11 now. Missed the second. 59, 55, four point lead for UAPB as we approach the three minute mark. Getting late here. Joanna Miller off a cut, keeps it alive, loses it, gets it back. Chambers nearly lost it herself in the lane, shot up, whistle and a foul, two shots coming up for Denisha Chambers. Two fifty three left in the game. Missing the first, one more coming up. That's good. 59, 56. So big possession here. Got to make some free throws. Walker 
Now to Lassane. Lady Lions up three with the ball. 2.40 to go in the game. Big possession here. 15 on the shot clock. Walker looking down low, nothing there. Thompson, top of the key, puts it on the floor. Spinning, back out. Carr with four on the shot clock, off the glass, misses it. Didn't hit any iron, that's gonna be a shot clock violation. Carr had a nice drive and just overshot it off the glass too hard. Just over two minutes to go. Big possession now for Grambling. Had a good half-court defensive possession a moment ago. Now they have a chance to pull it within one and maybe tie it. Anderson in the lane. Off the glass, short. And Lassane the rebound. And she's fouled or no? They're going to say tie up situation instead. Alternating possession is going to keep it with Grambling. With 1.54 to go. Now they're still talking about it. There's a little confusion on the possession arrow, I believe. Now they do change it. That's the second time that's been off in the game. So UAPB and against them both times. Bad pass, picked off by Joanna Miller. Pull up three for the tie, no good. You just gotta believe that shoulder's bothering her. Lady Lions up three with the basketball. Travel, top of the key, Thompson. Fifty nine fifty six with one thirty one to play. Lady Lions had a chance to make it a two possession game, but instead they turn it over. So they leave the door open for Grambling here. And now Grambling does the same. They turn it over. So back and forth we go, teams missing opportunities. UAPB now another opportunity to make it a two possession game. As we approach one minute to play. Lassane puts it on the floor and they're gonna say an offensive foul. A push off. Looked like maybe a block, instead they call an offensive foul and again the Lady Lions miss an opportunity to make it a two score game. 1.05 to go. Timeout called by Nate Kilbert, and he didn't like that last call against his team. We'll keep it right here with just 105 to play. Timeout, Lady Lions. The next home game for the Lady Lions and Golden Lions will be on this Nate Monday, Kilbert talking Kansas over with the State official. Person. That the play literally game happened game about 10 feet in front of me, media. and it definitely looked like a block media instead media of a charge. Game. But the call goes against UAPB, nevertheless. Grambling will have a chance down three with 105 to go. Appreciation night on Monday. Student athletes, cheerleaders, and band members who earn chances this. Lonza Hardy looking on. Director of athletics here for UAPB. UAPB faculty and staff members will be admitted to Monday's Lady Lions, a chance to win a big ball game here. That's State we'll see if they can hang on. Right here, the Trailed a good part of this game. And the last 10 minutes, though, the Lady Lions have been in control with the lead, actually led by as many as eight. But lead is cut down to just three now. Top of the key, nice take, blocked, big block. Carlisha Walker comes up big there. Lassane's got it, almost throwing it away. Walker 
The kick out, don't need a three there, 38 seconds left, better hold that one. Put the pin back in the grenade on that one. <laughs> Cassidy Wright almost jacked up a three there, instead there's gonna be a foul out high. Nate Kilper wanted an intentional foul call there. 32 seconds to play. Lady Lions by three, and at the free throw line is Christina Lassane a chance to make it a two-score game with free throws. Fourth foul on Joanna Miller and another timeout called here, so we'll step aside for a quick timeout. 32 seconds to go, UAPB leads by three right back after this. There are a million places you'd never consider texting. So why would you do it while driving? Leave risky driving to the professionals. Stop the texts, and together we can stop the wrecks. Shooting two for the Lady Lions, number four, Christina It's gonna be Christina Lusane here, a chance to make it a two-score game. First free throw for Lassane is good. As we resume play here, 32.9 seconds to go. Makes it a four point game, two possession. Second one, nothing but net on both. Two big free throws for Lassane stepping up. And that's just her first two points of the game. And her teammates have picked her up tonight. Step back three, no good by Patrick. Kept alive by Godbolt and then she traveled. 24 seconds to go, UAPB leading by five with the ball. They're in a great position here. Foul and it's gonna be on Patrick. Lassane back to the line. She just hit two free throws for her first two points of the game. But you got nine from Marion Thompson. You got 11 from Cassidy Wright. You got 10 from Sharice Carr. Eight from Wormley tonight. So the Lady Lions have had a nice collective and the first free throw is good. game from a host of players stepping up big, sharing the wealth. First shot is good for Lassane, makes it a six point game. 23.7 to go, one more for Christina. In and out, no good, lipped out on her. 20 seconds to play. No reason to foul, and coast to coast for the layup was Chambers. And a timeout called here by Grambling State with 18 seconds to play. 62-58, UAPB by four, and we'll keep it right here during this timeout. Men's action coming up for you shortly after this one. UAPB and Grambling. For more information, visit Mr. Butler at the Student Union, room 102. Set for the inbound here, 62, 58, 18 seconds to go. Full court pressure here by Gramley. Lassane to Carr. No call on the foul and then a turnover or a foul. Let's see, I think we're gonna have a foul. And it's gonna be on Joanna Miller and Miller just fouled out. Carr's gonna shoot two here as she almost turns it over with just 11.8 seconds to go. Lady Lions look like they're in position here to win this game, up four. Replacing Miller will be number 24, Jessica Watkins. Jessica Watkins Lions, will replace the fouled out Charisse Joanna Miller who suffered that shoulder injury and really wasn't the same player after that. Her shot is good for Carr. It is good. She's got 11 now in the game, matching the 11 by right, make it 12. So Carr, the it leading scorer good. for UAPB. Both free throws, and now a steal. Walker, good hands. Boy, she's had a good ball game for Alicia Walker. There's no reason to foul. With three seconds left, the Lady Lions are going to win this one. 
64-58 the final. Six point win for the Lady Lions as they come up big. Special thanks to our crew tonight, William A. Lawson and Randy Kelly and Shelly Roby Ingram. Derek Barnhill back in the studio. I'm Tim Stubbs. Saying so long for now. We'll have men's action coming up for you shortly. 64-58, the Lady Lions win it over Grambling State by six.